guys, I'm coming to try a coconut for the very first time and tell you what I think. Edition of the Chef Lifestyle for today's video on the food documentary series. We are at Akokno House on Mango Road, Kenya University, where we are going to taste Akokno, take a tour of the place, and learn about the history or how the place came to be. So, follow me. very very resource efficient so it takes a lot less land water a lot less feed to grow a kilo of insect protein versus a kilo or an equivalent amount of traditional livestock it also tastes good it's delicious um, it's an important uh, food practice that we believe definitely should be maintained that's, that's amazing so how long have you been in operation Okay, so we were in a research and development stage for about three years, and so we've been uh, commercializing now for about a year. That leads me to my next question. Tell me about the various products that you made. Them. I read a few, and they were very interesting. So um, we do do biscuits that have um, a coconut in it. We do shito with a coconut, so instead of fish or herring or shrimp, we use a coconut. Um, we also have a dry version that we um, uh, use a lot, especially for a lot of our international clients. Um, and then we also have frozen, fresh. For the shito products, the akokono is um, the akokono is processed into a flour, and then it is used for the shito. So it replaces any shrimp flour or um, fish flour that you might want to add to the shito. It replaces that. It has all the shito ingredients, then with a coconut flour. So you see the coconut in the powdered form, just like shrimp and fish flour. And then for the cookies, we just mill the coconut and then we mix it with the ingredients. So it's like blended in the liquid form and then it mixes with the, you know, the margarine, the flour, we just mix it in and then we use it to bake. Now, tell me about the process of getting that from itself. Uh-huh. Sure. So, um, what I was saying earlier that we were in a research and development stage for three years, what we were researching is how to breed a coconut because it's not very sustainable to just keep going out into the wild, to the palm trees. We don't want to be responsible for felling any palm trees unnecessarily. So, what we've done is we've built our own uh, farming system um, where that's where like a lot of our technology and a lot of our innovation lies in terms of how to breed them and how to farm them sustainably. Okay. And this question is, what are some of the challenges you 
said you've been commercializing it for a year. So what are some of the challenges you face? And a lot of it just revolves around understanding the Akokono itself, understanding how to breed it, understanding how to farm it. Um, and then also after that, how to process it, how to store it, how to, um, you know, get it to customers in different parts of the country. I've actually done quite a lot of work as well around customer education and building that knowledge base with our customers of how to handle the product, how to store the product, how to process the product, because um, they do see it as a novel need sometimes, and so they need to have that knowledge to be able to use it well. Right now, we rely a lot on uh, radio advertising as well as like just traditional paper advertising. Um, and we're making quite a big effort on the digital side too. So working with influencers like yourself um, and working with other people like that who are really excited about novel foods, traditional foods, food innovation. Final question. Going forward, what's the vision? Uh, for the future, we would like to be, you know, the largest producer of a coconut on the continent and um, really be providing a really nutritious, delicious source of animal protein um, to everyone in the region. Okay. Freshly harvested. This one is the fresh ones. But they are both fresh, oh, okay. but these are just in water. And maybe when you take them from here, you wash them. So this is like clean water that you put them in. And then this is um, in peat. So we put them in this when, um, mostly when we get fresh seals. Yeah, so they have something to munch on easily and they don't die. And then we process and freeze them. Yeah. So that they, um, they stay intact for a while in the freezer. Yeah. Okay. This is Apple Cafe, Apple House Cafe. This is where we have all the fresh farm Apple products. So seven days in the week, you can walk in here on Mango Road. We will serve you with all Apple products, some shito, cookies, biscuits, fresh Apple fried rice, Apple stew, Apple sauce. What? Guys, I'm coming to try a kokno for the very first time and tell you what I think. It's, first of all, it smells really, really good. So let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Guys, this is cookies made from a kokno. Like, I've never heard anything like this before. So I'm going to try this too as well. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> I can really feel the Hokuno flavor in it, but it still tastes like regular cookies. It tastes like meat. Hmm, you guys need to try this. <laughs> this is like actual meat. I will personally invite um, all of you to come to a Hokuno house in Kumasi on KNUSC campus on Mango Road to come and personally try um, a coconut.